Hi, I'm Scott. I created this video to show you how you can modify the spinner sensitivity setting on the different spinner games so the gameplay is similar to what you remember from the arcades. This video is part of a series of videos I've created related to the arcade one of cabinets. This video is a follow up to my video on flashing the arcade one up asteroids cabinet PCB where a bunch of games were at it. A link to that video is above and in the description of this video. After the Asteroids PCB is flashed, you'll have access to nine unique spinner games. Arkanoid, Boxing Bugs, Camel Try, Major Havoc, Super Breakout, Teeter Torture, Tempest, Tempest Tubes, and World Rally. Arkanoid is on the Arcade 1UP menu once, but there are several versions of it available to you on the main menu. In this video, I'm going to show you the default value for the spinner sensitivity settings for each spinner game, where I can change the values, and how I determine what value to change them to. Let's get started. Alright, just to give you some background on my Asteroids cabinet here, uh, once again this is a Gen 1 cabinet, and I replaced the spinner on this cabinet I took out that crappy plastic one and I put in a GRS, uh, that stands for Glenn's Retro Show, a GRS spinner, part number TS-USP01. Uh, this is like the first generation of a spinner. I think he's come out with one or two more. Um, this one would cost me 50 bucks. Here's the documentation that came with it, TS-USP01. Um, now those other third party spinners out there, the Turbo Twist 2, which is I think made by Groovy Game Gear, the Spin Track Ultimark, and RK 1UP has a new version of their spinner, and I believe that's going to come out on their Tempest cabinet. They're like 12 on 1 Tempest cabinet in 2021. Now, as I proceed through this video, the examples I'm showing you is only for the Glenn's Retro Show spinner. Uh, the settings, the spinner sensitivity settings for those others. Uh, third parties, the Turbo Twist 2, the Spin Track. I, I don't know what those are. Sorry to tell you that. I don't have them where I could do any testing. I haven't found any documentation on those. So I'm just going to move forward on this video with the Glenn's Retro Show Spinner. Okay, so on this spinner, uh, I found a video by Glenn back in 2019, and I'll put a link to it up here, and it'll be in my description of this video. There's like a 10 second clip where he talks about, oh, um, there's these dip switches on this control board and the default is set up just for Tempest, which by the way, he's right. It works perfect with Tempest on a default. And, but if you want this board, this spinner to work good with, if in MAME, the super breakout available to you in MAME, you want to set that dip switch settings to 64. I was like, hey, that's what I want to do. I want to get all those MAME games working right. So that was a nice tip. So then I went back to this instruction manual right here and sure enough in there it has settings for the dip switches. Uh, I'll put a better picture of that up on the screen now. And so we can look at the default setting on mine was off, off, off. And I'll show you how I know that in a second. Uh, and that was 10.24 pulse per revolutions. Now, per Glenn's comment, I really want that to be 64 so that Super Breakout, Arkanoid, and all the other games will work. So I looked on that chart, and the chart says on, on, off is 64. So I said, okay. So now I started to deconstruct my cabinet. So I took off the uh, plastic acrylic covering. I flipped this over. I took off the plastic under underside of the control panel and that let me have access to my spinner control board. Uh, I've still got this hooked up into the cable so I can't bring it too close to the screen but on this board and I'll show you a close-up picture of that here's my dip switch settings in the bottom left hand corner. Okay let me just tell you this right now I got I'm 57 years old so I got eyes of a 57 year old these things are super teeny tiny to do the rest of the project I had to bring out my geek goggles I couldn't have done this project without these geek goggles because those things are so small I couldn't see anything. But uh, the three dip switch settings are right here. 
On top of that, there's a piece of orange film over top of it. I couldn't get that orange film off. So with the geek goggles and this little pick, and this pick comes in a set of like four. You can get them at several places. I think you can even get them at Harbor Freight. This pick, I was able to peel off the orange, I don't know, plastic covering to gain access to the dip switch settings. And that's when I knew that the default was zero, off, 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 because that's what they were set at, 10.24. So based on the chart, it says I want it on, on, off. To get to 64, I had to use this pick to change the first two dip switch settings to on. And uh, once, so once I did that, I just plugged the cable back in, and I was off and running on doing my testing. So. This video is all based on the testing, the dip switch settings for the GRS spinner, okay? So if, uh, if you've got the turbo twist or the spin track installed in your cabinet, I don't know how much help this video. It's gonna be some help for you, but it's not gonna be as good as for those that have the GRS spinner. There are four values that can be set for the spinner with the analog controls menu under MAME. Digital speed, auto center speed, reverse, and sensitivity. The digital speed and auto center speed control how the digital controls are mapped to the analog functions. Those two settings should not affect your spinner in the games on this PCB. For reverse, there's three games that are set up on this PCB that have reverse turned on. Major Havoc, Teeter Torture, and World Rally. Now, sensitivity, this is derived from a formula. The formula is original game revolution count times 100 divided by current spinner device turn count. Now, back in November 13, there was a discussion on this in a YouTube video, and I'll put a link to that uh, sensitivity formula. The video will be above and in the description of this video. There's also a forum thread out there that discusses how to set the sensitivity in the main games with a spinner. I'll put a link to that above and also in the descriptions. Now the discussion in this arcade forum, this thread, it provides the original game revolution count. And you need that for that formula. And it also recommends the sensitivity values to use within MAME. That's a pretty good starting point. In the list of the original turn counts, I'll put those on the screen right now. And I'll just go through them. Arcade, Arkanoid, 486. Boxing Bugs, it was unknown. Camel Tri, 486. Major Havoc, 288. Super Breakout, 125. Teeter Torture, unknown. Tempest, 72. Tempest Tubes, 72. World Rally, unknown. Before making any changes to the main menus on your PCB, I would recommend that you jot down or take pictures of the values, just in case you need to go back to them to start all over. On the screen, I'll show you the default values from my flash PCB for the spinner sensitivity settings. Arkanoid, 27. Boxing Bugs, 20. Camel Tri, 140. Major Havoc, 255. Super Breakout. 27. Teeter Torture, 5. Tempest, 30. Tempest Tubes, 30. World Rally, 65. Based on the forum thread, I made the following changes to the sensitivity values. Initially, they did not work. Gameplay was not better. However, once I modified the dip switch settings on the GRS spinner board to go from 10.24 pulses per revolution to 64 pulses per revolution, then, then the gameplay, it dramatically improved. On the screen, I'll put the recommended value settings from that forum thread for those spinner sensitivity settings. Arkanoid, 40. Boxing Bugs, 11. Camel Tri, 40. Major Havoc, 50. Super Breakout, 40. Teeter Torture, 10. Tempest, 6. Tempest Tubes, 6. World Rally, 50. 
once again, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can find that forum thread. All right, that wraps up this video showing you how to modify the spinner sensitivity settings values within MAME for the different spinner games that are available on the Asteroids Flash PCB. Hopefully, this video helps you understand the features available to you via MAME menu on the Flash Arcade 1UP Gen 1 PCB and how to modify them to improve your gaming experience. Let me know in the comments section below if you've had one of your PCBs flashed by Geek Sales, aka Berry Berry Sneaky. Let me know in the comment section below if you use the GRS spinner and if you have the dip switch settings set to a different value than what I recommend and what you have your sensitivity settings set for for the different spinner games. Let me know in the comment section below if you use a different spinner and the spinner sensitivity values for those different spinner games. Now keep watching my YouTube channel to catch my upcoming videos on other RK1 Up cabinet topics. For automatic updates when I add content to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that red subscribe button and ring that bell. If you like this video, then click on the thumbs up button. If you dislike this video, then click on the thumbs down button. Please leave any positive feedback you have in the comment section below. Now thanks for watching. Now go play some of those classic Spinner Arcade games.